Lesson 25, Basic Rules of Probability. Example 1. Two cards are randomly selected from a standard deck of cards. Find the probability that both of the selected cards are twos. Well, to find the probability that both of the selected cards are twos using the relative frequency approach, we need to count the number of ways that both of the cards selected are twos. Here's one instance. We select the two of diamonds first and the two of clubs second. Another way is if we had selected the two of hearts first and the two of spades second. Another way is to select the two of hearts first and the two of diamonds second. Or we could have selected the two of clubs first and the two of spades second. Or we could have selected the two of spades first and the two of diamonds second. And this is starting to get pretty involved. So using the basic rule of probability by counting becomes much more difficult the more involved the problem is. So maybe we could instead use one of the basic rule of probabilities based on the key words. That is the not, or, and, or given type of problems. Well, the probability that both of the selected cards are twos can be found if we look at the probability that the first card is selected as a two and the second card selected has to be a two. So we could use the basic rule for and to find this probability. The rule for and is you take the probability of the first event happening, in this case we select a two first, and multiply it by the probability of the second event happening second. In this case, the probability of getting a two the second time. But given the fact that the first card selected was a two, that's the only way that both of the cards selected will be twos. So the probability that a two is selected the first time we select a card from the deck is calculated by counting the total number of cards in the deck, which is 52, and then the total number of twos in the deck, which is four. So the probability of selecting one of the twos the first time is four chances out of 52. Now we multiply that by the probability of selecting a two the second time given that we have selected a two the first time. Well, the given information redefines the total. So given the fact that the first card selected out of the deck was a two, we know that the total now is 51 remaining cards in the deck. And of the 51 remaining cards of the deck, given that the first card selected was a two, there's only three twos left in the deck to select the second two. So the probability of selecting a two the second time, given that a two is selected the first time, is three chances out of 51. Because there's one less two in the deck and one less card in the deck the second time we select the two. So now multiplying these fractions, we just multiply across the numerator and multiply across the denominator. So the probability ends up being four times three, which is 12, divided by 52 times 51, which is 2,652. So here's our probability in fraction form. If we divide the 12 by the 2,652 and round off carrying three places after the decimal, we get 0 0.005. And multiplying by 100% converts it to 0.5%. Thus, when two cards are randomly selected from a standard deck of cards, the probability that both of the selected cards are twos is approximately 0.5%. This result would be considered unusual since the probability is 5% or less.